I'll give like so my my like intro to influencer marketing content What's creation. Yeah. yeah. So like no, just like <laughs> it, trying to be as helpful as I can. So if you're, I'll give I'll go through the stages. Um, if you're just starting out, like you have just launched a almond milk products or you know you've just launched a new company making e like apparel or whatever it is i'll talk about consumer companies first i would you know probably you're going to spend some of your budget on adwords because that's a really effective tool be your best bet after that is just reaching out to a creator and getting them to create pieces of content i think our average on the platform is like three or four hundred bucks for like a photo and maybe like under a grant like a grand for a video and how many followers just to give that side of it to um we have people ranging from you know ten thousand to a couple you know to multi-millions but i just say like your average instagrammer for example might have like you know 25 or fifty thousand followers but you know they'll charge less if you're just asking for content than mm -hmm. if you're asking for a post and you could find people just you know you could reach you could use tools like pop pays because at the startup tier it's like you know, it, it's just a couple hundred bucks a month, depending on what you're getting. But you could also just reach out on Instagram if you're just starting out and you have no budget. Right. Just find some people just from searching Instagram, message them, offer them free product. It's harder, like you won't get the same quality of influencers when you're just offering free product. But if you're scrappy and you have no budget, you can find people that like, and you know, it's good. If, they, if they're if they doing a product, they're, maybe they're an earnest fan of the product. But no, they're probably just gonna post a photo. It's not gonna be some Oh, no, super... and, and I would even just start off with this. Like if you're, if you're really budget constrained, I would just get a couple of pieces of content and boost it on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Influencers at the early stage are probably not the right vehicle for converting sales. Um, granted, you can have a TikTok video go viral and that does just drive like tremendous growth, but uh, that's a whole separate thing I'll get into. But at the early stages, I would advocate, you know, spending your money on Google AdWords, getting a piece of content um, in a cost efficient way, and then, you know, putting, if you, even if you have a grand or two, like experimenting with paid social and trying to get sales from paid social. Okay. Um, beyond that, you can start building brand ambassadors by shipping, you know, your product to people on YouTube, Instagram. They build, they get posts and awareness, and that does build an engine over time of driving word of mouth. But unlike the quick hit of advertising, where it's like you get immediate sales, you see the direct ROI. This is building an engine of like brand ambassadors, basically. Companies like Glossier, they've they've really built this over time, and you'll want to find those brand ambassadors because they'll be a steady sort of steady source of content and you know awareness and consideration. Like they will slowly convert people who follow them to consider your product. Beyond that, you should experiment with TikTok because it's such a fertile place to play. We had a friend of the company, um, D Scout. They're not even like a consumer. Well, they basically have a marketplace where you can basically sign up to be like a user to test things, and their post went viral. And they got like so many downloads that crashed their server on wow. TikTok, so it can work. But B2B, I would focus on making content and using Facebook's ad tools to target that post to the right audience. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.